Hello, I'm Dr. Michelle Schmidt, and I'll be teaching you in this video how to take your horse's vital signs, or as veterinarians say, TPR. It's important to practice these skills on your horse so in an emergency situation, you can calmly and efficiently relay important information to your veterinarian over the phone to help assess your horse's condition. First, T, temperature. The temperature range on a normal adult horse is 98 to 100.5 degrees Fahrenheit. Purchase a digital thermometer from your local grocery or your veterinarian and keep it with you in your horse's first aid kit in the barn or trailer. To take your horse's temperature, stand on the left side of your horse facing the rear. Stand close and do not get behind. Keep a hand on your horse so you can move with them. Lift the tail and insert it into their rectum and wait for the beeps to signal that the temperature has completed. Second, P, pulse rate. The normal pulse rate or heart rate for an adult horse is 36 to 48 beats per minute. You will need an inexpensive stethoscope purchased at most horse supply stores or your veterinarian and your fingers. To use your stethoscope, again, stand on the left side of your horse. Locate the left elbow and place the stethoscope on their chest at the level of the elbow. There are usually two audible heart sounds, lub dub, lub dub, and is much slower than yours or mine. Each lub dub is one heartbeat. Listen for 15 seconds and multiply by four, four beats per minute. You will use your fingers to assess, assess the pulse rate and quality on your horse's face, on their cheekbone, for their mandibular artery. Run your fingers along the inside of their cheekbone, feeling for a pencil-like structure. Don't press too hard, but you can feel the pulse rate in the artery. Again, feel for 15 seconds and multiple by four for beats per minute. To feel for digital pulses in the front legs, it takes a lot of practice, but it's really important in assessing forelimb lameness. Cup your hand around the front of the fetlock or the pastern, depending on how big your hand is, and feel with your thumb and middle finger for pulse rate. It's normal to feel none or very faint pulses. As you're feeling for pulses, assess the leg for any heat or swelling. Finally, R, respiration rate. The re normal respiration rate for an adult horse is 12 to 30 breaths per minute. This can be measured by watching your horse's flank region go in and out with each breath, or by watching your horse's nostrils move with each breath. Again, count for 15 seconds and multiple by four for breaths per minute. Do not use your hand in front of your horse's nose to feel for the breast, as by they will start to sniff your hand and falsely elevate your readings. Additional vital signs, not abbreviated by TPR, but equally important are mucous membranes, CRT, abdominal sounds, and hydration status. Mucous membranes and CRT, or capillary refill time, assess your horse's blood perfusion to their tissues. Normal mucous membranes are pink and moist, and normal CRT is equal to or less than two seconds. To look at your horse's mucous membranes, lift up the corner of your horse's lips and look at their gums. Colors you may see are red, white, pink, or gray. Pink is normal. Look at how moist the gums are. Moist with saliva, tacky or sticky saliva, or dry with no saliva. Blanch out the color with your finger and wait for the color to return. Normal is less than or equal to two seconds. To listen for abdominal sounds, you'll need your stethoscope again. Normal sounds will be a constant trickle, like a running toilet. There are four regions or quadrants to listen in, a right and left, upper and lower. Listen for at least 30 seconds to get a good interpretation of the quality of the intestinal movements. Lastly, hydration status. This will be assessed by a procedure called skin tenting. Using a taut area of skin over your horse's body, usually over the shoulder and neck region, pinch the skin, release it, and it should return to normal within a few seconds. If the skin takes longer to return to normal or stays tended, it can mean that your horse is dehydrated. Be sure to use a normally taut area of skin as some older horses have extra wrinkly skin on their necks, which can give you a false reading of their actual hydration status. If you're having trouble finding an area, a good area to assess, you can use your horse's upper eyelid doing the same skin tending procedure. Practice makes perfect. Getting to know your horse when they're healthy will help you when they are sick and many of the normal parameters may be abnormal. We at Alpine Animal Hospital are more than willing to help you learn these skills, so please ask us to show you how to do any of these procedures or make sure that you're doing them correctly. Thank you.